Way down upon the spawning river where the old folks are. How about we put all of us right down on that wonderful swanee river, by south from here. Nice dream was with it. Comes down between all those wonderful green trees. So I will have a little memory of that. So I will fire in. I have the magic writers on the canvas. I put it already on, as we have no problem. Just watching our scene, the magic right put on. I will put a little bit of a happy blue on there. Here's a Look at that, make a happy uh, Swanee River sky. <clears throat> Take the paint from here, right? put it up here, bring it down, bring it down, let it get lighter, 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 lighter. So here I just, just put a little bit of a blue there will be a little bit of light shown there. I will wash my brush and we will put a little bit of a <coughs> nice red. A little bit of a nice red in there. But look, I just take off a little bit. There's just a little bit, my God. Don't uh, think that's already far too much. Far, far, far too much. See, I ruined it already. You just, just saw this. You, you have a little bit of a red on. Can you see? So that is more or less too much. You have to be very careful whenever you want to highlight something. But I would like to have that little bit of fire in there, in between here a little bit, in between here a little bit. See, so. Because you now you have the white on the canvas, it is wet, and you just brush it out there. That little bit of red will do a good job there. So we leave it like that. See, just a little dawning of red here, 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 here. Good, good. Now we will fire in. Uh, use your big brush. I will just outline it roughly. I will use sap green and black. And that will be, I would say, here is where the river where the river starts, this one here river, and then we go down, 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 down. Good. Now we will set the light. I would say the light is coming from this side. So we will have on this side of the river, the trees a little bit on the dark side. See, very wild, very wild. They are all leaf trees. They are not uh, the trees I usually paint. Uh, zap green and black I use in this case. I put it up here and see how good I am. But I want to have a darker there, a darker there on the river. Yeah, just, just roughly get that. The background, and I call that background music. Background music. And now, you know, see, let's say there are trees on the side, when it comes forward, they're already, those trees are already moving like this. See? Like that. And here on the other side, the same. It's not a very wide river. It's a happy little river. There will be trees there and there and there. You see, and the big brush does a fantastic job. See, a lot of people, when they see the big brush, they're scared. They always think, my God, how can you paint with that big brush? I could never do it with the small brush. You get all those wonderful details. See, the way you pick it up here, can you see? I, I just take a lot of paint on the brush and a little bit black because I want it darker than green, even darker here, you see? There, there, leave it there dark. And out of that dark, we create the light side and the dark side. See, already here. See? 
already in your mind you you can see even more I will I will already use deep dark there deep dark there and come out 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 like that you see and on the other side already I do the same thing deep dark there and lighter 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 see now we have already we can already see how that water comes up and now here i just just background music i just need colors there green lots of green lots of green now here i create a distance you see you know it is so wonderful to paint free and, and let your hands do whatever your brain tells you to do. So it is a wonderful, wonderful way of, of expressing yourself. And let the brush explode, you know, like, look, there are certain movements, you, you will like it very much because of, of uh, the, the hard paint. If we never had that hard paint, we never could do all those wonderful things. You know, you can even go in <coughs> if you want to and uh, have trees hanging in, you know, you would think there are some big trees even bright in the front and branches hanging in, very loose. You see, look, very, very loose. It's a, it's a loose attach. See there. See, isn't that wonderful? But it depends on how you attach it now. I can ruin the whole thing by putting the wrong, wrong pressure on. <clears throat> Good. See? And here I want it darker. What I use here is Taylor Green. A little touch of Taylor Green. I'll just cross here. You see, Taylor Green makes it a bit more darker and gives you far more power. And Taylor Green is a greenish color. It's a, it's a water color. Turquoise. See? Oh, boy, nice and dark. Now we will go into details. I will use the other brush, a little one inch brush. And I will, I will, maybe, maybe white and a touch of red, like the sky, like that. I would like to put the sky in there from here on. See, now I make upstrokes. Maybe a bit more. You, you see it. You see, you always judge it. You always see it, and then you say, oh, it is good, or it is not good enough. I want a bit more. So in this case, I want a bit more. Do the same thing. See here, that. See, if you go the second time over, you have so much more power. Clean my brush, make upstrokes. See? Clean your brush. Then I see I have a lot of paint balled up here. Here's a lot of paint. I make downstrokes. See already, bang, bang, all the dark. Now I will use this as the light side and this as the dark side. I use yellow and a bit of white and a bit of a dinner. I have here a little dinner, see, that's a dinner white. So a dinner paint will stick on a thicker paint. You see, there you are. That makes it easy now. That means I have a thick paint here and a little bit of white, a dinner white. 
watch this here. Yeah. See, then you just bring it out like this. And let it disappear in the dark. You see, this is the shadow side, this is the light side. And that makes it nice now. See, how I take it off, a little bit of yellow, mix it here again, and now you can fire in whatever. See, let the sun hit and the branches coming down, and it will look nicer and nicer and nicer and nicer. Even here, it's so high up, it's so free in the sky, so you can do that, no problem there. And let it be dark on the outside there, in, in the inside. See, now you can, <coughs> you can use your knife if you want, you can do it this way as a sample. See, you can make scratches like that. But it's very good too. And it comes out nice. See, I start off with so much pressure, and then I lift up, lift up, that gives you a big branch and get thinner, thinner, thinner as you go along. And that is really a branch, the way the branches come. Here you can have the same thing. <clears throat> but I have to go on with a bit of a darker color in between. See, there you are. Here too. That makes it very easy, isn't it? Look at that. Mm -hmm. There, that's nice. Do the same thing here. See? Oh, that goes very fast. Maybe here we think that's a big branch. Put it together. Now, we leave pockets open now, like light out here, and then leave it dark, and then against the dark, watch what I do here. I just leave dark in between, otherwise you never, see, in order to, I get a new beginning there, you see, there, look at that. See, it covers up all of a sudden, that branch right disappears on the inside. See, and you do it here too then, uh, but you need the dark, you need that dark in between, otherwise maybe here I can have a couple uh, light spots. You, were, you must always think there are so many leaves and branches and it gives a lot of darks and all of a sudden there's an opening and the sun hits there. See, look at that. No problem, here's the same, maybe I go up like this. Oh my God, can you see how loose the branches are flying? I don't know if we could get a close-up on that. See how loose the branches, you see the details of the branches with that big brush. Because I only can do it of our paint, I, I, the paint I have here. It is a, it's a, a, a thicker paint on the, underneath and a, thick, a thinner paint on top. A thinner paint will always give you figures. See, and I can see the figures when I, when I condition my brush. 
see, then I look into that and I can see already all the branches, all the branch figures I, w I want to have. You understand that, you see? Then it becomes so easy to paint. See, now being on, the, on my Diswani River, I would say I reflected right into the water there. See, well, that's nice. On this side, I will be very careful because I, I will show a little bit of sun. There's always some openings in between, and some little openings, they let some sunshine in, in between here, you know. There a little bit of sunshine coming in, here a little bit of sunshine going through, and maybe it hits right on this outside here in that branch, get lighted up by the sun, see? Uh, but very little, very little. You play your little game there. Maybe here a little bit. Maybe here a little bit. Very loose, very loose. See? And maybe here. See, I want to have a depth there. I want to really, really get some kind of a... a, a the beginning of that almighty river. Watch what I do here. No, this has to be darker. The, forgive me, that, that's not right. There's something not right. See? I have to pull some dark down. Watch this. I still have the brush loaded with that dark paint. See, all that dark should be in the water there. More. Even darker, I use Taylor green there. That's a dark color, and it's still a nice green. So, maybe a little bit of black. As yes, darker you have it there, as nice as it will look. Good, 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 good. So you know, all that is in the water, and that light in the middle, and now I have to put that green around in the water. See here, like reflects that into the water, what's there. This one has to be reflected in the water too, and there's some green up there. See, there's some green and yellow and white up here. See, this one, might, that might be even out here. This is the end of this here. Then that's dark. So that one, this won't be even in the water anymore. So we leave that dark. But I will maybe create here a little bit of a sunny shoreline there. See, let it go into dark. Let it go into dark there. More, a bit more. A bit more. See? Now here on this side, we will pull in, we will pull in. I will use the other little brush. We will pull in a uh, tree trunk coming down from here. See, maybe other, other here. Hardly you can see it. I will use my magic knife and I will, will highlight some spots. For example, there's a point where you think the sun Hits that tree and it's all in the dark again. See? 
Maybe here a little bit. See, there you are. I just mix myself a kind of a reddish. See, you can fire it into the water too. This one, you can fire into the water there too. Oh, come on. See? <clears throat> you can use your little liner brush and you can make some nice lines with the liner brush if you want to. So that would be... The bit of a dinner paint, thin that paint down a little touch, then you get this kind of a feeling. Yeah, that's good. Now here. See, there. No, we will, we will use the other brush, other big brush, clean and dry, and we will make water out of the whole thing. See, like that. Now we will go this way, see? This way. And all of a sudden, it looks like water. Can you see? Wonderful. And now there's a kind of a, on this side, grass, lots of grass. See, that's the, that's the side where the sun is. That's the sunny side on that river. <clears throat> and we will do this kind of things there. Can do it with a knife, it looks very good. See, bring it down like this, and end up there. And then here you can make some water lines, still in the sunshine. See, there's still, still the sunny colors. But now you come on this side, you use a touch of blue, green, and we make a darker color there. Maybe I will show you. Let me see, it should look like like this, it's far darker, you see? Now I go on here in the shadow. You can see right away the shadow side. See? Good. Now here's the in the sunshine. I am in the sunshine, and everything is sunshine bright. And there's little movements in the water there. Come forward like this. See? That's nice. That always like break the water up here and there. But this is all the sunlight. And it has a lot of yellow and a lot of white colors in. See, and on this side, on this side, you have darker colors for reflection. See, 
Tati, something like this, and a bit darker. Touch of Taylor green and green <coughs> and white. The aim for this kind of a color here, that was a good color. That's a good color. See, something like this. And my God, look at that. In no time, you made yourself a nice little couple of obstacles there, like uh, branches are there, some kind of movements like grout is there and there. See? And if you want to know, you could, you could, you could uh, use a bit of white. Watch this white here. And you give them a little bit of, but all over now, see? Can you see little movements like this? And look what we got. Isn't that nice? A powerful, powerful painting. This is the sunny side, this is the shadow side. And what more can you do? The Swanee River, where the old folks are. Now we went home. Thank you for watching me. I love you.